uh, presenting a work entitled Data Mining for Wind Energy Site Selection. Coast grain is like a bird eye view 
which uh, which we have taken in order to list down the factors and fine grained and a finer detailed level. At core strain level, we have selected wind speed, the elevation, the slope, in the highways, railways, beds up, and forest and scenic areas. These are different parameters which are uh, which we need to evaluate at a coarse grain level in order to make a decision for wind turbine installation. These are fine grain level parameters in which what is the type of name, what are the type of builds up which have been over there, and land ownership, and similarly the other factors like electronic, the electric line cost and electric integration cost and so on. And these all factors we need to consider and. We have included only one factor for ecological impact, and then it, that is bird habitat droughts. This is only uh, we can rank it in the category of uh, ecological impact. There are a number of factors, but we have not considered in this study for some particular reasons which are listed later. Now, what are what can be the use of data mining for wind turbine wind energy site selection? The indicators for selection can be stored in an integrated database with two challenges. One is, we have to select a suitable representation of data. How would we visualize the data? Whether because for wind energy turbine installation, we will have two types of data. One will be related to the surface, one will be to, uh, related to the geological features, and the other one will be the attribute data, non-special data. So we are having two types of data in order to uh, uh, in order to make a decision for this. So we need to select a suitable representation of the data, and then we need to have a suitable mechanism for automated analysis of data to predict that. Side. In our study, we have selected GIS, a Geographic Information System, for the representation of data. As we all know, that uh, GIS represents the data in a layered architecture. It represents the data in the form of various layers, they are composed, they are stacked one after the other. So the data is represented in the GIS, but at the back end of GIS, the data can be stored in two forms, one is special and one is not special. Special data is the data which is related to space, I mean the position of the object, the length, the height, and the things like that. And non-special data is the one which is not related to the position, but the general attribute data, like what are the type of bits are, what is the ownership of the lane? This is non special data. So, we are having two flavors of data now uh, which we need to mine, which we need to analyze. The second challenge was uh, the mechanism for automated analysis and all that we have used in data mining. From uh, machine learning, we have used a technique of principal component analysis. Why we have used this? Because, as I mentioned earlier, that we are having two types of data, one is special and one is non-special and we know that special data is very much sparse and complex and we are unable to dig some knowledge from such uh, sparse and complex data so we need to reduce the dimension of the data and in order to reduce the dimension we are having multiple techniques and we use principal component analysis in this study. So what does it do? It converts complex data set to lower dimensions, it re removes redundant dimensions from the data set and identify the meaningful base for re-expressing the data. Uh, there are two major measures which we need to take in principal component analysis. One is variance, one is covariance and two others are also there. One is eigenvalue and one is eigenvalue. In fact, uh, the principal component analysis that if you have multiple components, we can have we can re-express the data by reorienting some of the factors and by making uh, principal components of few attributes. Then we have applied multiple regression in order to predict the suitability of uh, the site as now we are having the data with reduced uh, dimensions. By applying PCA, we have reduced the dimensions and we are having more compact data set now. Now we can apply regression analysis in order to predict whether the site is suitable for and we have applied this regression analysis on those principal components, not on the uh, 